This is amazing timing. <laughs> Are you a coffee drinker? Let me tell you how much I, I blew it this week. I fucking blew it this week. I was blowing it all over the place. I blew it many times. The tulip that nicely just poured, that was almond milk. It was, no, it's not almond milk. It's not almond milk at all. It's oat milk. It's a new formula for oat milk that he just tried out his second pour ever. I had him pour the most beautiful, amazing thing with actual real cow's milk and I went to go chop it together midway through my trip just to get a little bit ahead of the game and I didn't have the camera on. I didn't record it. I didn't record anything. It wasn't there. That was gonna be the highlight piece. It just wasn't there. Say something. What if I rub your belly? Second thing I blew it on was out of everything that I packed, I didn't pack my battery charger for my camera and these little Sony cameras, they just eat through batteries like it's no tomorrow. So I couldn't really shoot a lot. It's like if you put the battery in the camera, 10 minutes later, dude, it's it's toast. I don't leave the house without five batteries and sometimes that's not gonna make it through a day. It's disgusting. My life's just one mistake after another mistake after another mistake. So aside from visiting Minotti's shop, I was in LA to do some podcasting. We got some awesome guests coming up on the Cat and Cloud podcast. And one of the people that I podcasted with was Jeff. So Jeff is a photographer. He's a commercial photographer, freelance. That's, that's what he does for a living. But he's really in tune with coffee culture and he's writing a book. He's got a coffee project called Americana Mondays. And I went over to his house to podcast with him and ask him a little bit about what coffee culture means to him and what Americana Mondays means to him. So we're gonna rewind back to LA. Check out this black and white one. This dude was amazing, man. What's his story? I just finished a bunch of emails. I had one hour before I had to go pick up the kids. And I was near Santa Monica and I was like, I need to go do something freaking creative. I'm sick of emails right now. Put an hour on the parking spot, walked down to Santa Monica Pier, saw this dude and was like, yo, can I take some pictures of him? And it was so funny. He said, first, let me put my teeth in. And he got his teeth out of his pocket. And of course, his name was the captain, of course. Ended up talking about life, about our, our kids, about everything for like 20 minutes plus. Took a bunch of beautiful photos of him, shook his hand and walked off and that was it. I got these beautiful photos of him, so, of the captain. I don't like on-camera flash a lot, but this one looks really nice. Does that go just, how does that work? So I'm, I'm refracting light on the lens. See how light's hitting it? So I'm gonna refract it back to create different, different specular highlights. So we'll get two different looks, and I brought a prism too, so that'll give us a cool, that'll give us some cool stuff as well. Just kind of testing real quick, just to make sure. And the nice little like, nice little, nice little rainbow going on right there. That's so sick. Coffee culture to me is very important because it allows me to go have a one-on-one -on -one time in person with friends of mine that I've either met through Instagram or just through life and create these amazing experiences together and share these experiences about life. Yesterday I met with a friend of mine who I haven't seen in a year. Her father is going through some stuff um, health-wise and everything. We were able to have a real conversation about life, about everything. Didn't have to be just about coffee, but coffee was a connecting factor that brought us together. And now we're sharing life experiences that basically are just about the human experience. That's why I freaking love coffee culture. Also, I love coffee, so why not? For me, Americana Mondays is something that has definitely changed the course of my life. It started as a small little side project that I just needed to freaking do to be creative at a very slow point, kind of a down point in my life. And it opened up this whole new world to me, this amazing community of people who are, just as I'm so passionate about the craft of photography, these people that I've met and have become friends with are passionate about the world of coffee, the craft of coffee. And it's been such an awesome experience to kind of be welcome into that, be able to document it, photograph it, and now put out a book. It's been something that's been amazing for me on so many levels, personally, professionally, creatively, emotionally, every freaking thing. So that's Americana Mondays to me has been something that's opened up my life in many ways out here in LA that I never expected would ever happen. This freaking water coffee is crazy. I'm literally sitting here two feet away from Chris, chilling, having an amazing afternoon because we both decided to do something we're passionate about, pursue a passion, pursue a craft, freaking rock it out do what we love to do, get out there in the community, rock it out, and now we're here doing that because of that. That didn't make a lot of sense, but yeah, it's a good thing. Peace. <laughs> I can't wait to edit the podcast with Jeff. He's a natural born storyteller. It, it's 
the intense enthusiasm that you hear from him talking right there, that's reflected in the podcast times 10, and it's so amazing. And the other guest that I recorded is is kind of a big surprise, and I think someone... There's a lot of things on my mind that I need to unpack, and I'm gonna level with everybody. I'm gonna be just really honest right now. I'm, I'm pretty damn behind where I wanna be with the video. I, I usually pride myself being someone who is just one step ahead, I've got things in the pipeline, I've got things planned out, but this week I got really behind and not having the batteries with me, which was my own fault, put me way back from where I wanna be. So it's Sunday, I upload these things for Monday, so they go out Monday first thing in the morning, and I need to power through it, and I was having that moment of beating myself up where it's not gonna be good, it's not gonna be tight, I've gone the extra mile the last few videos to make it something that people really wanna watch and just kind of express myself more in my craft, and that's been really fun for me, and now I feel like I'm doing this last minute Hail Mary situation, so it's kind of stressful, but I know that if, you, if you're pushing and you're pushing and you're pushing and you're pushing, at some point you're gonna get behind and I can either dwell, oh, Max. I can either dwell on the, I can, I can either dwell on my behindness, on my lagginess, or I can just chalk it off. Not everything that you do is going to be perfect and that's okay because it's always better, always better to stay in motion than to stop for fear of messing up or putting out something that's not amazingly awesome. That's my lesson for the day. I've got a ton of lessons that I learned this weekend, but I need to unpack them more mentally before I share them so that they make sense. Whatever you're doing this week, whatever you're getting into, just go out and freaking make it happen. I hope everyone has a really, really great, I can't talk. Hope everyone has a really, really great week. I have a few hours before bed in which I need to get a workout in. I need to get some food going and just, I gotta get that reset going on. So stay dialed y'all. I will catch you on the flip side. Kill your week, whatever you do, and don't get down on yourself. Just play forward, you know what I'm saying? Peace. In camera at you. Uh, in camera is great. Okay. Oh crap, let me, <laughs> this is a good one, man. You put me on the spot. I love this stuff. Oh, yeah. So are you like, so here, I so guess you need like a, you, 